Hello, mga kaboko salad. Have a fantastic day to all of you. Thank you for all people who subscribe in our channel. Welcome to the OTB or the Online Teacher Blog channel, your learning and educational channel. This is again Teacher Dolphin. And we have a fun facts trivia about dolphins. So did you know? Dolphins sleep with one eye open. Right, so we have here a short blog video which is entitled Frequently Asked Questions or Facts About or for PEF OCNCS Recruitment or Philippine Air Force Officer Candidate Course and Candidate Social Course. And this is our marvelous topic of today. Please hit the subscribe button below, like and share, and of course, please click the notification bell icon for you to be more updated in our channel. So this is the Philippine Air Force logo or seal Filipinas Hukbong Himpapawid. So let's start now with frequently asked questions for PAF, OC, and CS recruitment. Question, what are the qualifications for the Philippine Air Force officer candidate or PAF, OCC, and a candidate soldier or CS? General qualifications, female or male, natural, born citizen of the Republic of the Philippines, single, never been married, and has no long legal obligation to support a child or children, with height of at least 152.4 cm or 5 feet for both male and female indigenous people or IPs applicants who do not meet the minimum height requirement shall secure certification issued by the National Commission of Indigenous People or NCIP must be physically and mentally fit for military training and good moral character for PAF OCC must be a baccalaureate degree holder and at least 20 years old but not more than 25 years old upon admission for training based on latest AFP policy. For CS must be completed the K-12 basic education program and has earned for at least 72 units in a collegiate course from an educational institution recognized by the government. At least 18 years old but not more than 26 years old upon admission for training no waiver shall be granted for purposes of regular enlistment in the AFP. What are the initial requirements for PAF, OCC, and CS? You shall be required to submit the following. Transcript of records or TOR, diploma for graduates, BSA issued birth certificate, latest 2x2, two two, picture with white background, 3x5, whole body picture with a white background, attire with polo shirt for PAF, OC, t-shirt for CS mom pants rubber shoes. Electronic copies for th of this document shall be uploaded during the online registration and the hard or the hard copy shall be presented before you take the test at the examination venues. How do I apply and where? Applicants may register and access the PF online registration system at https column double slash recruitment dot airforce.milp.ph. However, registration at the website is currently disabled because there are still no scheduled examination for incoming officer candidates and candidate soldiers. Do you accept walk-in applicants due to the threat posed by COVID-19 to the public health? Walk-in applicants are not allowed. Instead, all applicants shall be online using the PATH online recruitment portal. All qualified group uh, applicants shall be notified later on the examination date and venue. Minimum health protocol shall be observed in scheduling and conduct the examination. I took the examination last year, but I did not pass. Will I be able to take the exam again? Yes, you can take the examination again as long as you are still satisfied with prescribed qualifications. The PAF General Classification Test or PEF GCT shall be taken every recruitment cycle. However, the retake of AFP Service Aptitude Test or AFSA shall only be allowed twice for an applicant with a total of three maximum opportunities and shall be conducted at least three months after the initial examination. I am married and has had a child and I am still qualified to apply for OC or CS. No, an applicant of CS or C OC or CS must be single, never been married, and never bore or sell a child. 
how long is the training period for the CS or PATH OCC where this conducted? Training period for CS is four months while PATH OCC is 15 months. Training is held at the Air Education Training and Doctrine Command at Fernando Air Base, Lipa City, Batangas. What is the difference between CS and Special Enlistment? Candidate Soldier Program is for regular recruitment of applicants to become enlisted personnel, while well, Special Enlistment is the recruitment of individuals who possess exceptional skills needed by the Philippine Air Force. What benefits should I get when I join the PATH? The following benefits joining the PATH, opportunity to serve and defend the freedom of the country, opportunities of career advancement, opportunities for education and training, both local and abroad, leadership and skills training, insurance and healthcare benefits, billeting and housing privileges, job security, competitive pay and allowances, opportunities to become a pilot, for officers, what is the passing root score for CS and OC? The following table shows the passing root score for PEF, OC, and CS for each examinations to be taken. Name of exam, APSAT form A and B current, PATH OCC 80 over 150, CS 49 over 150, PATH GCT 60 over 120 is the passing score for PATH OCC. For CS 42 over 120. This is from June 30, 2020 to the present. When will be the publication of the exam result of CS and PEFOCC? Results are usually published 15 days after the last day of the rescheduled nationwide examination. However, this timeline may change due to unforeseen factors. Is there a waiver for height and age? The PATH does not grant outright height or age waivers however members of indigenous cultural communities slash indigenous people may present a certification from the ncip for them to be exempted from the height requirement does having a criminal record disqualify a potential recruit for military service yes an applicant must have no derogatory records or any administrative and or criminal cases filed against him or her are there special considerations for women listing the military? Processing of all applicants is the same for males and females. However, the passing rate for the physical fitness test for female applicants are different as compared to their male counterparts. In addition, the number of female applicants who will be selected for training is 20% of the total quota. If I qualify to undergo physical fitness test, what I perform or will I perform and what are the requirements to pass? The following table shows the passing root score of the physical fitness test. Event, event is push up two minutes, set up, set up two minutes, 3.4 kilometers run, both male and female below 21 years old, 22 to 26 and 27 to 31. So just read all the necessary information here. I'm a licensed for criminologist and exempted to take the exam. Applicants who are licensed criminologists Criminologists are free to choose whether they will take examination or they will submit the requirements for a licensed criminologist. The respective board rating will be the basis for the ranking along with the other applicants. What are the requirements that our licensed criminologists should submit in order to be qualified? Applicants who are licensed criminologists sub sh shall submit the following for them to be exempted from the taking the examination. So fully accomplished path application form, transcript of records and diploma, PSA issued birth certificate, criminologist license examination rating from PRC, PRC ID, certification of government service, certificate of work experience related to criminology, seminars and training, awards and recognition. All right, so that's all for today, guys. And of course, mga kabuko salad. See you again next time only here in our channel. And um, this is again the online teacher blog saying from the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 16. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright m and morning star. So Jesus, to Jesus Christ be all the glory and praise. Alright guys, see you again next time only here in our channel. It's time to say goodbye now. See you next time and God bless.